In this class, we are going to learn how to read or parse a CSV file which is having non-uniform or unstructured data. With non-uniform, I mean, if you look at the first line over here in the CSV file, it is having seven columns. That is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And the lines which you see next to first line are having five columns. That is one, two, three, four, five. If you try to read such kind of CSV file with our Oracle integration stage action or FTP connection, that is with the help of uploading this CSV file, you might end into error. Now, what is the solution? How we can read or parse the file effectively and get the data or pull the data out of this CSV file that we are going to look in this class. Now, before we go ahead and build the integration and show how to parse the CSV file which is having non-uniform data, we will have a quick walkthrough demo on the integration which I have built. What I have done is I have uploaded this CSV file to the FTP server. I am just passing the name of the file. This is the name of the file which I have uploaded into the FTP server. I am clicking on run. So what this integration will do is it will read the data available in the CSV file and it will transform into the XML format. Now in the response, I am not showing the data, whatever it has read. Let me just refresh. Here if you see, I am making use of the stage action that is within the stage, I am making use of this read operation. Now here if you see the first row or the header, what I have considered for this use case, I am terming this first line as the header next as the line items. I am reading all the seven column values over here under the header. Next is the line. This is the repeating element. If you see line is repeating and it will show the details of each and every line item available in the CSV file. In our CSV file, we had details for five laptops and the first line is containing the header value. So all five laptop information we have received over here under the line set. And in the header set, we are having only one row, which is the header value. That seven columns we have retrieved and for line items, all five column values we have retrieved over here respectively. I have created this very simple integration and I have exposed over the REST protocol. While demonstrating, I have shown that I am passing the file name. Next step is I am making use of this FTP connection. Within the FTP connection, I am making use of download file operation. So which will download the file to this virtual directory in my integration runtime. Next, what I am doing is I am making use of this stage file action. So whatever file we have downloaded in the first step, that is what we pass the file name, it will go into that respective directory and download the file. So we will be getting a file reference that we are passing it over here. And the operation, if you see in the stage action, I'm making use of read entire file. Also, you can make use of read file in segment as well. Next, what I've done is instead of uploading a sample CSV file, I'm uploading a schema file. I will tell you how to develop this or create this schema file. In other words, it is also known as native schema file. Click on next. Suppose if you try to upload this CSV file as is by making use of this CSV selection in this step that is in the file content, you will end in error and your integration won't work properly. So in this wizard, we have to upload the file from our computer. I will tell you how the NXSD file or the XSD schema file will look like and we have to select the root element in that file. Click on next and done. So once we read the file, we will be getting the data in the XML format. So this data you can use for data enrichment or for saving the data into some database or to communicate the data to some application. If you see the response, we will be getting the data here in the line set, all the line information on five columns we will see. And in the header, we will get all the header values what we have over here in the file, like what we had seen in the demonstration. Now let me show you how to build this schema file. So this is the schema file which I have created. So this is manually you should create. If you had remembered, we had selected the root element as our root element in our schema file. Suppose if you want to rename this root element to something else, you can name it as per the project requirement. Then in our file, we are having couple of information. One is the header information. So if you closely see, we are having one element which will hold the header information and then in the line information. So for the line, I have told that min occurs is one and max occurs is unbounded. But for header item, I didn't include anything. By default, it is min occurs one only. How the data will look like it is mentioned over here. For header, I'm having seven columns, which is ended by the new line character. And each and every data or the column is separated by a comma. Suppose if you are trying to read pipe delimited file or semicolon delimited file, then you can put the semicolon or the pipe delimitation over here. Next, coming to the line item, I'm saying each and every column is separated by a comma and the line will be ended with the new line character. So this will be unbounded and this will be having only one row in our file. 
so this is how we have to create the native schema file and we can make use in this integration that is stage action also you can make use of the schema file in the read operation in this ftp connection as well to directly read also you can make use of the same schema file in order to make use of this read file in segments operation within the stage file action so using this native schema approach we will be able to read any kind of non-uniform or unstructured data present in the csv file that is containing the varying column lengths i am hearing the official documentation page by oracle that is on native format builder wizard so this is having information about the legacy product oracle was using previously before oracle integration so this is of least importance for us but if you scroll down over here here oracle has provided few samples which we can make use in order to build the native schema file like here if you see there is the sample data provided and oracle is saying how to build the schema file in order to read such kind of data now if you further scroll down if, if you are having a single line data and if you want to read how to read and if you further scroll down you will see the multi-line sample data and how to construct the native schema file all those things are mentioned so there are n number of examples over here this document is full of examples you can make use of the same and you can build your native schema file as per your project requirement